Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone hear me? Good afternoon, everyone. Fabulous, that's what I like to see. I had to become all my, my inner teacher came out then, didn't it, to get an audience. So, um, first of all, welcome to Liverpool Hope University. For some of you, it will be the first time that you've been here. I hope you've had a nice day so far. Please take some time to have a wander around the gardens. They're absolutely beautiful this time of the year. A couple of announcements. We're not expecting any fire alarms, which is good. So, um, if anything does happen, um, just follow the people in the black and red gowns and we'll make sure you exit safely. The important thing is if that does happen to stay calm and just let us instruct you to the place that you need to be. There's plenty of exits, so there's one behind you, there's one to the side, there's one to the front, so don't worry about that. It's one of those announcements we have to make, okay? The ceremony will last roughly an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. We've got a little, little bit of fun music for you as well, which would be fabulous. There was a few tears this morning listening to the music but it's wonderful um, can i ask you to do me a huge favor all your mobile phones can you turn them off for me please or turn them on silent don't want anyone to be interrupted with a crazy frog ringtone or anything like that anyone who remembers crazy frog shows how old you are okay so at the end of the ceremony um, the students will process out as is tradition at the university. So all you wonderful guests, stay where you are and just enjoy the show. Okay, so we've got to remember that we're celebrating real success here. Um, our students have been through an incredible 12 months. You're their supporters. So at the end of it, I want to lift this roof with a round of applause. So as they're going out, let's see if we can beat the 10 o'clock people, okay? I think some of those were still asleep. So as we're going out, we want to give a real round of applause. It truly is a celebration. The work that they've done behind us has been so fantastic. So finally, Enjoy your stay, enjoy the rest of the day, and thank you very much. We'll be starting shortly. Thank you, everyone.
I am delighted to extend a warm welcome to you all as we celebrate the achievements of our PGC students graduating this afternoon and becoming HOPE teachers. I am so pleased that we can gather today in person, something we do not take for granted anymore. This is our first ceremony for some time, which reminds us of the simple joy of being together and celebrating. Through hard work and determination, all of you have achieved something remarkable. And today, you and your families and loved ones have the opportunity to celebrate and reflect on those achievements. To all graduates, I offer my warmest congratulations on your academic su successes, the culmination of a year of dedication and hard work. Well done. We will begin this afternoon's ceremony with a performance by Much Walton Catholic Primary School. And I might say, you may need your tissues for this one.
What a joyful and very appropriate way to start our ceremony. I'd like to invite you to, if you are able, to stand please for our opening prayer. God of wisdom, we pray for our graduates who are dedicating themselves to the education of young people. Bless them and inspire them with enthusiasm for their calling. Use them to communicate a passion for the truth and to kindle it in others. Guide them to seek wisdom. May they guard your children in their care. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord and true teacher. Amen. Would you please be seated? First of all, let me add my own welcome and congratulations to our new graduates uh, and our new Hope Teachers. Everybody is very, very warmly welcome here this afternoon. It is indeed a joy to be able to meet in person the first time for some uh, considerable time, actually, that we've been able to do that. So, so welcome. My name's Kenneth Newport. I am a Deputy Vice-Chancellor here at the university, and also it's my enormous privilege to be the Dean of Education. And so it falls to me uh, to have this uh, privilege of uh, presiding over the ceremony uh, this afternoon. I do have a, a short speech, which um, is about five minutes long. So if I can have your attention for that long, that'd be great. Hope graduates and new Hope teachers, it is a great pleasure indeed to be able to spend the next few minutes with you. These postgraduate certificate of education with qualified teacher status graduation days is one of the highlights of the year. They give me huge pride and enormous satisfaction, and I'll tell you why. Liverpool Hope University was established precisely to do what we're now celebrating. That is, to be a place where teachers of the highest quality are formed. The university has been engaged in this work for over 175 years. And as our latest graduates, as our latest HOPE teachers, you now join this long and proud tradition. Like the many thousands who have gone out from here before, and that's not an exaggeration, like the many thousands that have gone out, you now join this profession. You go out from here to do good in the world. And as teachers, you carry a huge responsibility on your shoulders. For in the hands of the profession to which you now belong lies the education of the, nat the nation's children and young people. But of course, the profession to which I have just referred is not an abstract entity doesn't exist independent of the people who make it up. No, the, the teaching profession is a term that we use to refer to the totality of real people, real individuals, and to get to the heart of this brief message, one of those people is now you. And I am using the singular form of you here. So I hope that we are connecting with one another. I'm speaking, New Hope Teacher, directly to you. As a teacher, you will influence thousands. Again, not an exaggeration. As a teacher, you will help to form hundreds of young lives. As a teacher, you can 
raise the ambition and the achievement of countless individuals. And I cannot think of a more important work. I really can't. You go out at a particularly important time, a time when many, in fact, the vast majority of the children and young learners for whom you will have responsibility will, over these last three years, have experienced some very difficult times indeed, coping as they have had to do with the pandemic and the restrictions that it has brought upon us all. For many of these children and young people, there have been years of social isolation. These children are depending on you. Yes, you as an individual. And when they are no longer with you, others will take their place. And they will also be depending on you. In fact, children yet unborn are depending on you. Parents wanting the best for their sons and daughters need your help. Society is looking to you to help shape a better world through the influence you now have. Yes, there will be government policies and changes of direction as you go through your career. Yes, there will be Ofsted visits and judgments about your schools and your colleges. Yes, there will be governing bodies and head teachers and local education authorities and parent groups and committees and subcommittees of all kinds. And yes, there will be those of us in the university who want to think endlessly and reflect and theorize about learning strategies. But I ask you this, who is it that is actually going to be in the classroom teaching those children? Who is it that is going to be their role model and even at times their confidant? It's you. It's not me, it's not the chair of governors, it's not the local politician or the education minister or the professor of pedagogics. No, it's you. You are the one that really matters here because you are on the front line. So that's why I am so proud of being part of this and that's why I feel it a privilege to be here today. You are going to make a real difference and a positive one. You are going to go out and influence young lives and potentially to do more for the levelling up of society than any number of government policies or ministers. And so, for all that you are going to put into this, in the years to come, for your dedication and for your commitment, for your determination and the way that you have recognized your vocation. And yes, I am using that word, vocation, and I do so unashamedly. For all of those things, I will, if you will permit me, literally take my hat off to you. And now I'll leave you with a question. And I ask that you ask yourself this question, when? And I'm afraid I do have to say when and not if. Some hard times come over the course of your career. And the question is this. It's a very simple one. Why? Why are you a teacher? And if you have an answer to that question, and if it's a deep, personal, one could say, 
existential answer. And if it's about your life's meaning and your life's purpose, and if it's about your sense of vocation and your sense of self-worth, if it's about your desire to do good and to improve the life chances of others, then I am going to make a prediction and I'm confident that I'm right. And my prediction is this. That answer will sustain you even in difficult times. Whatever comes your way, don't lose sight of the why. So enjoy today and celebrate your success in whatever way the current COVID restrictions allow. But this ceremony will soon be over and it will be back to business. We, most importantly you, must move on. For there is good to be done out there in the world and you, and I remind you, I'm using the singular form here, you as an individual are the one to do it. So, new hope teacher, go out from here, get the job done and do it well. Thank you. I present to you candidates for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education. Rhiannon Ashley. <laughs> Stacey Barlow. Jack Beasley. <laughs> Katrina Burt. <laughs> Olivia Carrick. Erin <laughs> Chadwick. Georgia Convery. Charlotte Cookson. Joshua Dernin. Joanne Edwards. Anna Maria Feehan. <laughs> Catherine Fielding Huda. <laughs> Jennifer Griffin Brown. <laughs> Chelsea Hallow. Kara Hargrave. <laughs> James Hayes. <laughs> George Ingham. <laughs> C. 
Sophie Kemp. Katie Littlewood. Darren Logue. Georgia Love. Devon Marland. Lucy McGrath. <laughs> Amy Milovanovich. <laughs> Inaya Nissar. <laughs> Leah O'Donnell. Amy, sorry, Anna Pemberton. <laughs> Emma Poynton. <laughs> Ibra Rashid. <laughs> Mariam Rashid. Rehana Riaz. <laughs> Emma Rose. <laughs> Niala Scott. <laughs> Rachel Scott. Molly Shields. Imogen Tomlinson. Joe Tranter. Georgina Unsworth. Nicola Ward. Sarah Wilcox. Rebecca Yeoman. Sean Anthony. Stuart Aspinall. <laughs> Melissa Belk. <laughs> Anna Boniface. <laughs> Matthew Brady. Abigail Brown. <laughs> Emily Carter. <laughs> Tara Chadwick. <laughs> Beth Chorley. Hannah Cox. <laughs> J. 
Jade Crosby. <laughs> Ella J. Dean. Grace Dennis. Karis Eney. Louisa Gallagher. Olivia Gillen. Andrea Gaudi. Christopher Green. Adam Grice. Jonathan Hibbert. Matthew Hodge. <laughs> Joseph Howarth. <laughs> Jamie Keithley. <laughs> Thomas Kelly. Lucy Kirkbride. Georgia Lever. Amy Lilliot. Doris Lowe. Nicole McGowan. <laughs> Abigail Meeking. <laughs> Arla McAlfia. <laughs> ben Moran Moorcroft. Bethany Moss. <laughs> Lee Napier. Grace Needham. Owen Pollard. Zoha Kayam. <laughs> Rebecca Quick. <laughs> Faye Reynolds. <laughs> Charles Rhodes. Jordan Roberts. <laughs> Ira Roberts Ortigoza. <laughs> Emily Robinson. <laughs> Sarah Robinson.
Alexander Ross. Thomas Rushton. Zayn Shafi. Benedict Toll. Gillian Wall. Kane Wielden. Monet Wilson. Heather Wooliscroft. Bethany Rigglesworth. Jodie Larkin. <laughs> Shireen Manzo. <laughs> Joseph Solomon. <laughs> Liam Taylor. Julianne Coulter. <laughs> Sean Towhill. <laughs> Jack Toner. <laughs> Natalie Congress. The next student has been awarded the School of Teacher Education Prize for the best performing student in PGCE Secondary, and that is Elizabeth Farrington. <laughs> Jessica McTeer. Matthew Patricolo. <laughs> Caroline Walsh. <laughs> Patrick Chambers. <laughs> Aileen Henry. James Hughes. Christopher Lowry. Jack McMorrow. Abby Thorogood. Joseph Bister. <laughs> Nina Karsenak. <laughs> Dawn Holdman. Neve Keegan. <laughs> Jack, 
Jared McHugh. Ola McAteer. Peter Mooney. Ellen Murray. Lucy Trickett. Jack Walker. Patrick Campbell. Amy Carson. Joseph Perry. Courtney Rogers. Peter Symington. Matthew Beckett. Kevin Boyle. Ethan Dunn. <laughs> Justin Foreman. <laughs> Lee, sorry, <laughs> Liam Higgins. Dawn Abel. <laughs> Justin Chan. <laughs> Adam Smith. <laughs> Craig Thompson. Elizabeth Duggan. <laughs> Nicola Lynn. <laughs> Caitlin Neary. <laughs> Gold Onwuka. Emma Ellison. <laughs> and Ben Hall. Let us pray for God's blessing. If you are able to, would you uh, stand, please? May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine on us and be gracious to us. May the Lord turn his face to us and give us Peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. <laughs>